In this section today, I would like to share with you how Jomato security technology can be used in the cloud in the AWS environment. Before I talk about the technology itself, I would like to give you guys one, two minutes of uh, introduction about Jomato. So we are the one of the leader in the digital security. We tell our customer we secure the connected well every day. For example, I believe you understand Jomato, we are producing SIM card. We have a chip putting into the credit card, EMV card, debit card, whatever. And we have chip putting into the electronic passport, ID to secure the connected route, right? And today, we even provide a solution to secure the mobile payment, NFC payment, or, or whatever mobile payment you're currently using. So other than that, from my, on my side, is from the team inside your model, providing identity and data protection solutions. So here's some of the customers we are serving. There are a lot of global vendor, banks, government, FSI. So from our perspective, when we consider data protection, we are not selling antivirus. We are not selling firewall, IPS, IDS, because we believe that a lot of time customer just focusing on parameter security they forgot hacker can, de can get into a network to see the information. Or by going through some Trojan halls and the solution, they will be able to get the information. So there's no way we can completely guarantee our data can be secure by just parameter security technology. So the strategy we are taking is we build a per parameter on the data itself instead of just the parameter. So the idea is. We have two pillows of technology. One is on the right hand side, secure at the edge, which is a, a bunch of solution helping customer to enforce strong authentication into to get access to their system or get access to their database or cloud environment. On the other hand, on the left hand side is a bunch of solution helping our customer to encrypt the data, building perimeter on the security cell, no matter the data is in the application, database, file folder, storage, virtualization, as well as in the network. So this is the two pillows we are offering to our customer. So let's share with you what we have in terms of data encryption family. In the middle of this slide, you can see an appliance called Key Secure. We do offer a virtual appliance called Virtual Key Secure. Virtual keys actually is available in the AWS environment. Mm -hmm. With this centralized key management solution, we offer multiple of ProtectX solutions. For example, on the top left-hand corner, you see the Protect app. And Protect app is basically is, uh, some SDK solution. Customer, if they have application, they, they have sensitive information there, they can encrypt it by making use of our SDK. The SDK we come with C, Java, .NET API. We do provide web services API, such that regardless of the customer application environment or operation system, they will be able to make use of the Protect app interface and use the key inside the key secure or virtual key secure to encrypt the information. For example, one use case could be our one, one of our customer in government sector they have some top officer, top management officer, they would like to encrypt the information in iPad or tablet or iPhone. They can actually make use of the Protect App SDK to encrypt the information, and then the encrypted copy stay in the iPhone, iPad, such that even one day the device got stolen or got lost, the information will not be exposed because the data is encrypted by the key secure, virtual key secure in the cloud or in the data center. This is just one of the use case. Other than that, we have tokenization technologies. Tokenization is a really pretty new technology to help customer to convert sensitive information to a random generated data. So the idea is, for example, we have customer sorting credit card number. So by using tokenization, we can generate random digits to replace the credit card number digit. By doing this, we can easily help customer to hide the sensitive information, right? At the same time, we can help customer to reduce the scope of compliance, which is very, very important because 
emergent an organization have to go through uh, uh, auditing or compliance uh, 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 scanning. They need, if they have so many systems storing critical number, they need to go through all the scanning, all the security audit for all the system. But if today we can replace the critical number by a token, it's a random generated number, then for this type of system, they can be easily taken out from the scope of compliance. That means they don't even have to go through the auditing. They don't even have to go through the, the compliance test, which is very cost effective from the customer perspective. And in fact, the tokenization technology not only for replacing critical number. We have customer use it to replace email address. We can random generate an email address to replace a real email address in the customer database. We can even randomly generate a customer name, no matter in Chinese, Japanese, Korean, or any double byte character. We can random generate another character to replace the customer real name in the customer database. So this is what we offer in the tokenization. We do have database encryption, ProjectDB, which is a column level encryption. But after install the ProjectDB on the SQL Server Oracle database, customer can select which database table, which column they want to encrypt. After setting it up, whenever some data write into the database with the standard SQL statement, the data will be automatically encrypted. And if you are the authorized user, if you go into the database, if you we detect you are the authorized user, we will decrypt the data for you and pass it back the data in a SQL statement. The good thing of this technology is even you are the DBA, database administrator, you will not be able to seize the sensitive information in the, data, in the database. Only the people with the authorized privilege, they will be able to access the key to decrypt or encrypt the data. So similarly, other than database, we have file level encryption. Basically, the concept is similar. We apply this technology on the file folder level. You can define a particular group of user will be able to see a particular file folder. Even a domain administrator, even an administrator of an OS instance or would account in a Linux environment, they will not be able to access a particular file or a particular folder. If you already specify, only a certain group of people can, can see that file. And other than file folder, we have storage level encryption. And the one important one I would like to introduce today is the Protect We, which is virtual machine encryption. So with this technology, we can help you to encrypt your virtual machines inside the AWS environment. And not only the VM itself, I believe a lot of time customers use the VM and, and mount with the EBS storage, we can also encrypt. That means you don't have to worry about the data you put it into the cloud, even in a multi-tenant environment some unauthorized people will be able to access because only you as the owner of the key will be able to boot up the VM. Nobody else can boot up the VM for you. And uh, this is the way how we help you to maintain the control and ownership of your data, even the data is in the cloud. And at the end, we have a network encryption technology helping customers to secure the link from data center to data center or bunch office to data center. And this is all we offer from Jumato. But the key secure in the middle and virtual key secure in the middle actually do more than just this. We can also work with some third party solution. For example, what you see, Let App, Quantum, IBM, Hitachi. In fact, it's more than that. I believe HP, Dell can also be supported today. Their technology can do encryption, no matter in the disk level or disk controller level or tab library level but their key can also be managed by the single device is sitting in the middle. So from an organization perspective, they just need one, two unit of this key secure or virtual key secure. They will be able to manage all the key in the whole organization. They will be able to easily log into the web-based console of this key secure device to see how many key they have, what kind of cryptographic algorithm they're using, who is using their key at which time. They can even define particular key can only be used from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If someone tries to use one of the key at midnight, 9, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., the system will block them. So we give you a lot of uh, uh, control in terms of key policy or auditing. So this is the beauty of the solution. And below the key secure is a HSM technology. 
This is also what we are offering uh, with AWS in the cloud. You heard about Cloud HSM, which is the technology, actually. The HSM technology can be used by customers to build up a PKI infrastructure to secure the wood key, enable SSL acceleration in their website, digital side, their document, digital side, the code, uh, and crypt financial transaction. So this is all work together. So this whole slide explains to you what Jomato is offering in terms of encryption and centralized key management. And the other one is authentication, because we, we cannot just have encryption, because at the end of the day, you have some encrypted data, you want some authorized user to see, right? But how can we determine whether one people is authorized user or not? Is definitely by strong authentication. We should not be just rely on password. We should make use of two-factor authentication technologies to control the user access. And when you consider authentication technology, we have a very broad choice for you. We have PKI, OTP, software-based, hardware-based. We have push message technology as well. That means it doesn't just rely on SMS. We, we have, uh, I give you an example, we have a push authentication. If you log into a system, the system will send a message to your mobile phone by the data plan, by the data. And then in the mobile phone, you just need to approve it strict array, a message sent back to the system, and you can log into the, to the application automatically. It saves the time to type in the SMS message from the mobile phone or back to the application. Everyone can be just done in a single kick on the mobile device. So on this area, we have provide a customer a cloud authentication service. That means there's no installation in your, in your on-premises. You just need to subscribe the service. It's like you subscribe to the AWS environment. Once you subscribe it, your colleague can easily have two-factor authentication for them to log into the domain, window login, or Outlook web access, VPN login, or some application login. So this is really heterogeneous support. So I've talked a lot about, about Jamato technology itself. Let's focus on the today's topic, AWS environment. So this is what I captured from the AWS website. As you can see, from AWS perspective, the security model they are doing is AWS responds for the infrastructure security. That means all the computational power, storage, database, networking. They, are, they have the responsibility, or they, 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 are, they have the initiative to do all the security in the infrastructure itself. But on top of that is the application, data security, access control, everything have to be fall into the responsibility of a customer, I mean you, you guys. So imagine today you are the IT manager of, a, of an organization, and you are planning to propose to your CIO, CEO, you would like to move the system into the cloud. Think about it, what kind of question they will ask. They will ask, oh, how can you make sure if you put the company data into the cloud, how can you make sure the data is secure? How can you make sure when you do this, we can fulfill the regulation or compliance we need to fulfill from a, maybe from the industry perspective or from the government perspective? How can you check people use the data? How can you make sure if you want to quit from this service provider, the data will both be lived in the service provider environment. There's a lot of questions they will ask. So it sounds a bit challenging in order to protect the data in the cloud. So our strategy or our proposal for the customer is try to build a data protection solution. In other words, encrypt the data itself when you put it into the cloud. Because when you put the data in the cloud and you encrypt it, you can still maintain the control of the data by controlling the key. Because if nobody, if someone wants to access your data in the cloud, they need to come back to you to get the key, right? If you still maintain the ownership and control of the key, in other words, you still be able to check, you still be able to design, you still be able to define access control policy, who will be able to access your data? 
And very important, if someone, someday, you need to quit from that service provider, how can you guarantee when you remove those data in the cloud, it's really 100% removed. Nobody will be able to recover. Encryption technology, because if you encrypt it, even someone can recover the encrypted data. If you delete the key, no, no, nobody will be able to recover the encrypted data, right? This is a very, uh, I would say it's a very uh, good value adding on top of the, of the data protection with the encryption technologies. So let's take a look what we can do to serve the AWS customer to protect the data. Firstly, we have the CowHSM technologies that you can subscribe from the AWS website. It's a hardware pieces. You can help customers to store the key in a tamper-resistant, FIP-certified device. Nobody will be able to get the key out. And on top of it, we build a centralized key measurement platform, which is the key secure or virtual key secure. And based on this platform, we offer a number of options for the customer. They can encrypt the data in different data access layer, from the application layer to the file folder layer, database layer, storage layer, virtual machine layer, as I mentioned, Project V. So in the coming like around 15 minutes, I will go through a little bit more detail on how each solution works. Let's start from Cloud HSM, or we call Luna HSM, which is a piece of hardware uh, sitting in the data center of AWS. And the customer can subscribe to these services to use the HSM to store a key inside, to build a PKI infrastructure, encrypt the database, uh, can use it for code signing, digital signing of statement, digital signing of PDF file. And the product itself is FIP certified and common criteria certified. It will be strong enough for fulfill a lot of regulation from company perspective or from internal, external audit perspective requirement. And as I said, on top of it, we have the virtual key secure. It's a centralized key management platform. This centralized key management platform, if you go back to the previous slide, I mentioned about the, how this product working with different Protect X connector. At the same time, it can also integrate with third party storage, tab, and uh, solution. We can help them to manage all the key in the enterprise environment. So here is the ecosystem. All the, all the logo you see here, their technology, they have encryption, but they, they don't have key management. All the key in this kind of system can be managed by the key secure or the virtual key secure you, are, you, are, you, you can use in the AWS environment. So let's start with very interesting solution, Protect V, virtual machine encryption. As I said, what you have to do is just install the Protect V on the instant in the AMI, I mean in the Amazon. And then after install, you specify which area you want to encrypt, you want to encrypt the whole VM, or you just want to encrypt particular EBS storage, you can choose. After you define a policy, every time if you want to boot up the VM, you need to go to our solution to take, kick start the VM. Nobody can kick start the VM without your authority. By doing this, we can guarantee even your VM is sitting together with other VM in the infrastructure, in the service, service provider environment, your VM is logically isolated from another environment. And you can also track it because every time someone wants to boot up the VM, they need to go through our system. Our system has a very detailed log to show you when people kickstart a particular VM. So this is an architecture diagram. And uh, sorry. And on the right hand side here is the Protect, you can see the Protect EC2 instance with uh, Protect V kind install. And the circle one, the cone one is the EBS storage. You can define to encrypt the whole VM or just encrypt particular EBS storage. 
But if you want to kickstart a VM, you need to log into the Product VM Manager, which is a web-based interface. So after you log in, you will see all the VM under your management, and then you can just kick which one you want to kickstart. Then with your authority, they will get the key from the key secure. And the key secure send back the key to Protect Re Manager. The key will send to the Protect Re client. Once Protect Re client get the key, you will be able to decrypt the VM and start up the VM. Then you may ask, I have 1,000 VM, 100 VM. Do I have to do it manually to kickstart the VM? Definitely not. Protect Re Manager provides you some API. You can automate the whole process in terms of kickstarting VM, stop the VM, or cloning the VM. So. Basically, Protect V is a solution help you to protect the whole life cycle from start, kickstart the VM, to the operation, to snapshot. That means every snapshot you take is also encrypted. And very important, even you, one day you need to delete the VM with the Protect V technology together, you can guarantee nobody will be able to recover your, recover your VM because you delete the key in the system. Even someone can recover the encrypted VM, nobody, they will not be able to boot up your VM. So this is the, the whole idea of Protect V technologies. So other than Protect V, some customer come to us saying, oh, they want to encrypt the data in the application layer, so they can also do that. So for example, in this slide, you can see customer can integrate the AW SDK with the Protect App SDK together to encrypt the data in the S3 storage. That means they can create a file and then using our API, encrypt the file and then put it, in, put it into the S3. They can do it in the 100% in the cloud or they can do it in the on-premises and send the S3 encrypted storage to the cloud as well. That means that it's very flexible in terms of the way how they make use of the Protect App SDK. So of the Protect app, we provide C, Java, .NET API. So this is, this is very easy to use when customer using AWS SDK, they can easily integrate together. And on the, other hand, on the other hand, we have customer come to us say, they want to just encrypt the data in the file folder level. We have the solution, Protect file. So they can define which folder uh, they would like to have authorized people to use, even the domain administrator, Linux would or can will not be able to access a particular file folder. But they're still able to back up restore the folder, but not access the file content itself. So this idea can be deployed in the AWS environment, can be used to encrypt the uh, uh, SV storage again. And again, it can be done in completely 100% in the cloud, or on the left-hand side is from the physical environment to put it into the cloud. Also, also possible. So this is the idea. Organization may have different group of people. They may want to access different, different, uh, different file folder. So by using the protect file solution, you can create a granular control which file folder you want HR to see, which file folder you want the finance people to see. Uh, even the domain administrator will not be able to see because we create another layer of access control on the key. So lot, lot just rely on the OS level access control. So ProjectDB is a database level encryption. We install agent on the database itself. After that, you can specify which column in the database table you want to encrypt. All the SQL statement right to the database. If the SQL statement touch on the field or the touch on the column, you define, you specify, you want to encrypt, we will do the encryption for you. So from the application perspective, it's totally transparent, which is sometimes is very important because some of the customer, they, uh, they have some application built for many, many years. They, can, they don't have the source code. Or they bought some solution from third party. They, do, they cannot make the change in the application but they still want to protect sensitive information in the database, and this is the solution for them. We can transparently encrypt the data without making any change in the application layer. So this is 100% column level, 
transparent to application. Today, this technology support SQL Server Oracle and even DB2 environment. And the last solution I would like to introduce the tokenization. As I said before, sometimes customers have sensitive information. They don't want to encrypt because if they encrypt, it means they need to modify a lot of application because they need to encrypt in the application layer. Then we come up with this idea. We replace the sensitive information by random generated data. So from the application perspective, they are still processing information as before because the data is just a data. We didn't change the format. Uh, if the data is 16 digits like credit card number, the token we generated for them is also 16 digit, same, same type, same link. From the application perspective, it's totally transparent. But the value of tokenization technology being in is customer can easily reduce the scope in terms of compliance because maybe, maybe they have 100 applications today. They are all storing credit card number. By using this technology, this 100 application today is not storing credit card number, storing a random generated data. This is not sensitive, right? That means they don't need to fulfill PCI DSS regulation. But you may ask me, oh, then what about the system really need to see the real critical number? Yes, we have the technology called the tokenization. That means we can convert the token back to a real critical number. In this case, those kind of system, they still have to fulfill PCI DSS. But considering customer have 100 application, maybe just 10 application, they need, really need to see the critical number. The other 90, the 90 application can be taken away, taken out from the scope of the PCI DSS, which is very important because they can, customer can save a lot of money in terms of uh, auditing compliance. So, so the last thing, sorry, the last thing I would like to share with you is the authentication technologies, which is the solution can help customer to enable two-factor authentication. For example, today, if you are using AWS workspace, you can actually enable two-factor authentication with this technology. The good thing of this technology is, at your end user, just use one type of two-factor authentication token. They will be able to log into the AWS cloud. They will be able to log into internal system, window login, VPN, Outlook web access, or other type of internal portal application. That means as a user, they just need to carry one token. It could be a physical token. It could be a software token installed on a mobile phone. Or it could be a grid token. Grid token means they just select a pattern to log in. They don't need to carry any hardware software in order to log into a system. So this solution is really flexible. For example, what you see here, we support API level integration. We support radius protocol. We support agent. We support SAML protocol. That means it can work with a lot of cloud-based application. Salesforce, Google Apps, definitely AWS, and other cloud-based solution. So here is a number of our technology partner. Uh, they, their, their solution can make use of our authentication technologies to enable two-factor authentications. So before I end the section for today, I would like to share with you some use case. One of the very popular use case I always use is Netflix, which is the video on demand company. I think very popular. I think they recently, uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, get into the APEC market. So they, all their system actually is running in the AWS environment. And, but they need a hardware to store the key because they need to authenticate the, the user device such that they, after authenticated, they can allow a particular user device to, to watch the video. So they need a hardware to protect the key. So they use our cloud HSM to protect the key. They use many units, as, as I know, they use many units of our cloud HSM for doing, to, support, to support their customer. Another use case is a credit company in US. This company keeping a lot of credit information of an end customer or personal record, personal social security number. So they also their system is in the cloud. They need a way to secure the data. They use our Protect app 
so sorry, Project V in the AWS environment to encrypt the whole, all the VM they have running in the AWS. So another case is a logistic company. They are also running everything in the cloud, but this time they are not doing encryption. They are using two-factor authentication to control the internal user to log into the, to the, to the application in the cloud. And we ha can help you easily to migrate all the user uh, from uh, using password-based authentication to two-factor authentication within 30 minutes, which is really very fast. They don't need to worry about it. They need to set up a server to have two-factor authentication. Everything can be done in a surface manner, I mean cloud, cloud approach. So the last thing I would like to share with you is why choose your model with AWS. It's because we provide end-to-end -end infrastructure security solution for you to protect your application in the cloud, database in the cloud, VM in the cloud, virtual machine in the cloud. If you want to significantly reduce the scope of compliance, you can apply the tokenization technology as well. And also, we have two-factor authentication to, end store, to make sure you have uh, only authorized user to access your information. And the last, the slot the least, is with our technology here, we can easily help you to smoothly, transparently migrate your sensitive information from the physical data center to the cloud. Okay, thank you very much.